Hi friends, and welcome back to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. And this is the Saturday shoot around, or should I say, Saturday snowfall. I'd have an even better picture for you here to look at, but the clown in this vehicle that's about 75 feet tall and 100 feet wide, and is wearing shorts by the way, decided to park here. But you can still see it's snowing. We're going to head inside and take a look at some Topps Archive and some friend mail. So sit back, relax, and enjoy because the Saturday shoot-around is batting down the hatches and much like Frosty, not to mention Rudolph and Santa are headed your way. Hey everybody, it's Bronco and I am back. Sorry to use a line from Tony Black there, but we're warm and comfortable inside now in the comforts of the Baseball Card Illustrated Studio. And we have some mail to go through and then we'll get to the Topps Archives. You can see some Topps Super Baseball giant cards there that Kevin and I are gonna be opening fairly soon here on the channel. But speaking of cards, the first thing I wanna point out is we got our first Christmas card of the season. And it comes to us from our buddy Scott over at Reindeer Studios, the best artist in the card community. So we'll be opening these a little bit closer to Christmas. So we're collecting those, but I did want to point out that we got your cards, Scott, and we're looking forward to seeing what awesomeness is inside this envelope because Scott is a great artist, always does a great job with those. So we're looking forward to that. Now let's get into the mail. And the first thing is going to come to us from Poor Man Stack. And I'll let you know that this is part of the Mr. Fisher Bike Allergic to 1K contest that they're doing over there. And if you haven't checked out that channel, go ahead and do that. Um, it's definitely worth it. And just to further prove that, Mr. Fisher, Mr. Mr. Fisher Bike, easy for me to say, allergic to 1K giveaway. And it's a, oh, a little baseball card illustrator. I hope you enjoy these cards from Poor Man Stack. And I've got some mail coming out to you. And speaking of which, there's going to be some mail for a lot of people. We sent our first round of Christmas cards out. And I finally got the Bronco Mobile fixed. So, finally catching up on some of the mail. I know there's a whole bunch that I have to get out, and that will be, some of it's already on the way, others of it will be on the way this weekend as I shovel some snow today and then get some cards out. And then I'm going to go to a card show, hopefully with Doug from Don't Talk to Robots. Anyway, so we got Ryan Braun from Top Spire. That's a pretty cool card there. A nice Robin Yount, the 35th anniversary design of the 1984 design from Tops. Oh, sweet, we got an autograph here of Cole Gillespie. Gillespie, early in the morning here in Wisconsin. Maybe the snow and cold has frozen my tongue, but that's pretty cool. Thank you very much. And a Yelly, a Christian Yelich 1984 design on a National League All-Star card. So I'll put those in the background because I, I, I've always liked the 84 design. So it's kind of funny there, as you can see, we've got not only 1984 there, and we'll be opening those soon, but you got American League All-Star because that's what the Brewers were when Robin Yount was with the team even though he's wearing a very, very early in his career uniform there. And then National League All-Star with Yelly, Christian Yelich. And then we got something from our good friend SW here, and it says, please do not bend. And it looks like the good people at the Postal Service have done that. And it might take me a minute to open this because it's actually taped. So I'm not sure what's in here, obviously, but I want to make sure to open it very carefully. There we go. One second there. Alrighty, so. In these holiday times of thanks, I, I guess I could have waited for the holiday, but that's okay. I wanted to, th I wanted to thank you for making enjoyable content. Well, thank you very much. And close are some cards for a Brewers fan and a new lifelong Orioles fan <laughs> from SWPS. I included one extra bonus card. Well, thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing what's in here. And if you're a friend of the channel and been watching, you know that uh, Scott over at Autographs 2000 has gotten me to become an Orioles fan here recently during the course of the past year. So I'll move the uh, Brewer All-Star cards out of the way now. And we'll, we'll put that one on camera first, but I'm gonna go 
through. I'm assuming this is the Brewer Pack first. Let's see what's in here. And we've got Ben Sheets on a Fleer Ultra design. Sorry, the light was a little bit in my eye, so it was kind of hard for me to see that. Oh, awesome. Greg the Hammer Valentine. And for those of you wrestling fans, I'm going to be doing a video of opening some wrestling cards sometime during the holiday season as well. And speaking of the Hammer, he's got some uh, shoot interviews out there on the YouTube airwaves nowadays. So kind of interesting stuff. And he lives in one of my favorite towns, Las Vegas. And here's Ben Sheets from Fleer Tradition. Ben Sheets, one of my favorite pitchers when he was with the Brewers about... Well, actually, I don't want to think about how long ago that was. But <laughs> um, really good pitcher. Had an 18 strikeout game. as the highlight of his career. Now we'll go get to the Orioles stuff. And here's a nice one from, I'm pretty sure it's, oh, yeah, it is Fleer. Uh, Ripken in action. You kind of see from the way he sets up to starting his swing to making contact in the follow-through. That's a pretty cool one. And then we got Cal Ripken and Father Cal Sr., there when I'm assuming this is when Cal Senior was managing the Orioles here. Um, well, he's actually a coach at this time, but Cal Senior would go on to manage the Birds, and we got a Paul Mahler card. So awesome stuff there! Thank you very much. And now that I have your address here. I'm always a little leery this time of year. People have moved or whatever, and I know a few people have been nice enough to leave their addresses on recent videos to make sure I've got current stuff there. Um, so I can get a couple things out, plus contest giveaways, and all of a sudden there went Scott's card, but we'll get that. Don't worry about that. And now it's on to Tom's Archives. So like I mentioned at the top of the video, I went over to the local Meyer store thinking maybe there'd be some retail in stock, and there was. So this is a product I, wa I enjoy watching other people open, and now I get a chance to open a little bit of it myself. So we'll see what's in here. And there's three tops big I guess they call them tops big minis it's a lot of words but I'm gonna stack them like this otherwise the whole pile is gonna fall I have a feeling but I, I like the design although as a kid I never liked those cards because they were too big and they never fit in card holders or sleeves or pages or anything like that so anyway here we go there's a whole bunch of different designs that they use here's Gary Sheffield with the Marlins Brewer fans not particularly huge fans of Gary Sheffield um, could tell Marte that's because he kind of worked his way out of town. He didn't want to be a part of the Brewers and was supposedly tanking plays. There's a Joey Bart rookie card. Put that in a separate pile. And at the end, we'll show you some of the cards I thought were the best. There's Gary Sanchez, catcher from the Yankees. Speaking of catchers, there's Johnny Bench. Certainly not a card that came out. Oh, here's a nice one. We have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on a Bowman design. That's a pretty cool one. And happy to add that. And here's my main man, Mounty, Ryan Mountcastle. Great rookie from the Baltimore, or I guess I can't call him a rookie anymore from the Orioles, but that's a rookie card. We got Kyle Schwarber from the Red Sox and a cool looking Dave Winfield card from the 2001 design. And I'll go in my PC, so happy to pick that one up. But one pack down, I think there's six more to go, if my math is correct. Oh, I didn't actually look and see how many were in this. Next pack, we got a Ryan Sandberg. I think I might include that in the pack. It's going to be going out to Tony Black this week. We got Willie Castro. Colors made it kind of hard to see what exactly the first name was there. Um, Andres Jimenez, who kind of struggled this year with the Tribe, or I guess I should say the uh, Guardians now. We got a Nick Madrigal rookie card. He got traded to the Cubs during the course of the season. Here's another Vladimir Guerrero. And that would, of course, be the father. And he obviously had a long, successful, great career. That's another guy I really enjoy. Here's a card that I might have to send the way of uh, Math Bowler. The family, we got Dave Parker, Willie Stargell, and Manny Sanguian. That's a pretty cool-looking card. I'll put that in the giveaway pile. We got Zach Greinke, who I think is a future Hall of Famer on this Futuristic Tops card. And a Lou Bob. That's right, Luis Robert also on one of those futuristic cards, so that'll go in my PC pile. Here we go with pack three of Topps Archives. Hope everybody is staying warm, and maybe it's not snowing where you are, I don't know. Looks like there's some weather all over the place currently, so hopefully everybody's safe. And Here we go with Francisco Lindor to lead this one off. That goes in the PC pile. Here's another Willie Stargell, so we got some Pirates cards there. 
a crony, a Jake Cronenworth rookie card. That'll be one I add to my pile here, along with this rookie of Garrett Crochet, pitcher from the White Sox. And here's another rookie pitcher, and that is really hard to see the name of, and I didn't actually see it before. Wow. Luis Patino, I forgot that he had gotten traded to the Rays. That's right. I'm not sure that the yellow on white designs really work in form there. Here's an Anthony Rizzo from the Yankees. That's his first card with them that I've seen, or at least had personally. Here's a Nolan Arenado from the from the uh, Cardinals now. A Zach Gallen who had a little bit of a rough 2021 season. And Colton Wong in one of the first cards I have of him in a Brewers uniform. So we'll put that in the Brewer PC as we move on to the next pack. Don't forget we've got Mystery Mondays coming up this Monday at our new time of the premiere at 6.30 Central, 7.30 on the East Coast. And here's Clayton Kershaw. That's a PC guy for me. There's Pedro Martinez. That's a pretty cool-looking card right there. I'll throw that in the giveaway pile. I don't really have a huge PC of him. There's Matt Chapman. That's a pretty cool-looking card as well, along with Ermen Marquez from the Colorado Rockies because everybody loves Rockies pitchers. There's a cool one. Randy Johnson in his double rays, I should say in his Diamondbacks uniform when they won the World Series. Here's a Mookie Betts, a world champion in his own right. We got Kyle Hendricks from the Cubs on a 2001 design and Reese Hoskins. Moving on, three packs left. Let's see if we can get some later in the stack magic. Everyone always talks about last pack magic, but why wait? Let's see if we can get there a little early. Here's Christy Mathewson. We'll throw that in the giveaway pile, see if somebody wants that. Here's a Keston here who's kind of struggled a little bit the last couple years at the Brewers. Here's a nice one, Casey Myers. This is a guy that I picked up a bunch of rookie cards throughout the course of the year, so I'm happy to add that to the collection. Here's Juan Gonzalez. I'm going to throw that one in the giveaway pile for somebody because I know he has done some TTMing. Here's a Freddie Freeman. That might make its way to a Braves fan. You never know. We got Marco Gonzalez showing off his grip. We got Pee Wee Reese from the Brooklyn Dodgers. And a nice one here of Dylan Carlson, a rookie from the St. Louis Cardinals. Two packs to go. And hopefully everybody's got all their decorations up. And I think we're going to try to do a little drive through the neighborhood and see what kind of decorations are up and maybe share those with you on a video on the channel here as well over the next couple weeks. Here's Alex Verdugo. We got Blake Snell, Robin Yount, the kid. That'll definitely be going in the PC pile. Here's Kent Herbeck. Here's a fun fact. Kent Herbeck has the same birth date as me. Not the actual day, because um, Kent Herbeck was born in 1960, but we, have, we share the same day of birth. Here's Ivan Rodriguez, Pudge. We got a nice Alex Rodriguez Bohm Chrome card here. We got Carlos Delgado. Well, I feel like I have a card just like this one from back when it was released back in the day. And we got Yaz, Carl Yastrzemski. And our final card in this pack is Bob Beller. And now we go on to our final pack here on the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. Looking forward to uh, a nice break. We got seven school, or eight school days left, I believe it is. No, it is seven. Seven school days left before winter break here in the great state of Wisconsin. So Akil Badu leads off our final pack. There's a rookie card. We got a possible future Hall of Famer here, Joey Votto coming off a really nice 2021 campaign. We got Eric Hosmer, Dustin May, who struggled a little bit this year. We got Jazz Chisholm, an exciting rookie from the Marlins. It'll be interesting to see how he does over the next several years. There's Mike Yastrzemski from the San Francisco Giants. JT Real Muto, and our final card. This is a kind of a cool one. We got a Kirby Puckett. Anyone know what stadium he's playing in there? I'll give you a hint. It's in Chicago. Anyway, that's our final pack and our final card on this giveaway. I'd like to thank the viewer mail from Scott over at Reindeer Studios, SW, and, of course, Poor Man Stack. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you Monday at 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central for the premiere of Mystery Mondays. So long, everybody. You've been watching the Baseball Card Illustrated channel.